garden fly. This is the red version. I just thought I would, uh, I was tying some of these up for an order tonight. I thought I'd just put a wee short video on just to show you the difference between the, the original that I did last week uh, and the red. The red's been doing very well. I've caught my biggest grayling on it this, since I started using it. Um, and Daiichi 1870 size 10. Uh, this one's got 20 uh, wraps of uh, lead wire underneath and then uni stretch uh, over the top, nice and thin and then coloured with a red sharpie pen. I'm going to get uni stretch, they do it in bright red so I'm going to get some of that to save me, just to save me colour in it. Um, right, here we go. So, 60 nano silk at the back from Semperfly. I alter the position, the Vice I've got, a lot of people have been te uh, messaging me about the vice. It's just a Snowbee vice, uh, standard Snowbee Walden vice. Uh, but I got Jaws made from a guy over in Austria, Werner. Um, I think it's uh, Werner at Fly Only Project, if you want to look at his uh, Facebook page. He also makes a full vice, but he also does this Jaws for the Snowbee, and they've been absolutely fantastic. Can't fault them. Right, so taking that up uh, at the front, twelve o nano silk. Again, keeping the eye a wee bit clear with the uni stretch that gives you a wee bit more room, makes the head nice and neat, and then just touch the. Touch the white thread, don't really need to do that, but I like to just make it as neat as possible. Again, move the hook slightly, just gives you a better angle to start. Nice and tight, get the rib out the road. First two. turns nice and tight gives you that nice start to the body at the back and then your third turn you start to see the line just in here and then all the way down you just you're putting your next turn right on that line and that gives you the lovely segments and they're all nice and evenly spaced you can slacken it off slightly in the middle. It's amazing the I'm going to be doing some caddis patterns later on um, and you'll really be able to see the shape you can put into a curved hook just by altering the tension on the virtual nymph skin. Once you get by the lead and the build up, that was going from like two layers of thread down to one. I really start to tighten the pressure to keep it as slim as possible down to the end. Last turn, just hold it. I oh, just need to tighten the vise again. I'm struggling to work around this. I maybe need to move the camera to the other side. Put your finger underneath. Pull the virtual nymph skin. Two turns locks it in. And then give it maybe four or five really, really hard turns, and it gives you a really neat head. Let's see, then 12 watt in the 18 nano silk just doesn't build up at all. So, pull it really tight in your scalpel. Cut that off. Nail underneath. Hold it up with the scissors. Pull it really, really tight. Snip it off. Nearly finished. Just a rib to do now. As I say, I'm going to maybe look at doing this. and I'm going to try it in black. I think it'll be really nice. But for now, I'll just do it in red.
again just a bit of sharpie pen you I only use white and black nano silk you can just if you need green you just put some green paint on it it's great stuff and then just bring your thread up right in between where you the turns it's pretty clear where you put them just nice and smooth keep the ten tension pulling it in you get nice really nice segments a bit more pen just to finish it off <clears throat> big hands hitting the camera again and Down to the finish, a couple of turns at the head. Quick finish tool. One, two, three. Hold up your finger, pull it really tight. You see there, the colour bleeds right into it. That's another good thing about the, the Nana Silk. And there you go. Now that's looking quite good already. I'll show you another wee thing. I got this from a local guy called Scott Kane. It's called a cauterizer. It's very good for you've just got to watch with an anisult and that because if you get too close, it just basically burns it, but you can really make the head really neat. But just watch you don't go too close or it'll spring off on you. Which I've done on numerous occasions. Solar is thin. This is the lovely um, dispenser you get on these, and the lid. I'll show you how it works. The lid actually goes into the. Try and get it in the camera. The lid actually goes into the the nozzle, screws down. Absolutely ideal. Great dispenser. Tiny drop. Very little, that might be a wee bit too much, but sable brush out the art shop. And as it's soaking in, you see it really draws the colour out from the it soaks into the numb skin and also it really brings the the rib out. That's why I think it might be nice and black. Nice, very thin coat. You don't want to lose the segments. I've seen some guys this week doing them with thread and whatever, but they're pretty solid looking. I don't think they're quite as natural looking as the you get with the nymph skin, especially on the on the natural one. And that's us. You can see this shine in it. You can see it starting to soak through. Really nice effect. And then solar is do also do a nice torch. It comes with a rechargeable battery, but it's very very strong. Uh, better than all these wee, you know, I've used wee pens and that, but they just don't harden the UV as well as the big torches do. I mean, the one battery will do you, yeah, basically that's that's it, because it's got the charger with it. don't need to do it as long as that with the torch but I just like to kind of belt and braces make sure it's nice and firm but you can see that's tack free lovely shine the garden fly 